Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I wanted to go through 10 things you can do if you are feeling stuck in the game. To be honest, there's more than 10 here, but 10 sounded better and I couldn't get to 15, so it is what it is. <laughs> Let's get into it. So often in this game, when you are stuck, the reason you are stuck is because you need to go into the next zone and you can't get there because you haven't completed AFK stages. And then when you try and push AFK stages, you are losing at the AFK stage you're trying to push. And that is when most people consider themselves stuck. So let's go through some things you can do to help you one progress through this but also keep busy and get resources towards helping you progress through this so the first one goes without saying and i may do a, a deeper in-depth thing into this topic but it's just retrying changing formations using different artifacts just retrying the same formation with different rng for instance this battle i'm on with good rng my coco survives a little bit longer and then i can ult with my cecilia into my coco using her ult to protect Mr. Carlisle and, and I can get those type of synergies happening but sometimes that also happens with my tanks still alive and this stage is one I'm really close at. So retrying different formations, even the same formation is going to be the first thing you can do but that is just the one thing. Now moving on from that, if you are still struggling and you don't see any way of completing it, you can come over here to this little info button on the left hand side of the battle button and you can check the teams and you can see what other people have used to clear clear it. Uh, so you can come in here and you can look at the teams. Now, this shows me that people have been using Rowan. I don't have a Rowan personally on this account, so I am unable to use these teams, but I could still go in and look at the teams that you're using and have get, get an idea if there's something I can take away from that, or if you have these units, you can try these formations. Just keep in mind, these teams have low power, normally because they're low ascension, but they will be often higher levels. So if you look at this team, it's got four level 110 characters and one level 100, whereas I I have four level 100s and one level, I think, 107. So the Ascensions is the reason these teams have such low power, but they may have more levels. So if, if a team doesn't work, there is a lot of variables in this. There's gear as well. So just keep in mind, you're not guaranteed to win. Also, like I said, sometimes you can try a team a million times and not get it. So that is something you can do. You can look at these formations and see if they can help you. Now, the next thing you can do after that, if you are still failing, which I'm going to have to jump in here and lose a battle just to demonstrate what we're looking at, but there is two additional systems inside the game that can assist you when you are stuck on stages and these systems are fantastic now unfortunately i took a full team in so it's going to take me a minute to get through this let's take it off auto so that we can die quicker but when you fail a stage, it will give this pop-up. And there is two additional things you can do. Now, the first one is AFK proxy battle. So if you want to do the proxy battle request, basically what this does is you click it, uh, and we go yes, and then it takes you to this. Now you can put this into the guild section, the team up section, or share it with your friends. And if someone is available, they can have a try at this battle with your team for you to see if they can clear it for you. Now, it depends how active your server is, how active your friends are and your guildmates are, but this is an option. Sometimes if you've got a really close guild, you can do it, but sometimes you won't do it. However, some people may be farming these to try and get reputation. Um, so that is definitely an option getting that one in there. But uh, how do I, let's go, uh, revoke okay so moving on past that we have the synergy battle now the synergy battle you can only use this once per day but i highly recommend using this at least once per day but not too early on for instance this stage that i'm stuck on i feel like after i get some more afk loot i'll be able to clear it and then i'd rather use this at my next stuck point to break me through um you know real Def definitive walls that I'm stuck on for the end of the day. That way I can get through it and I don't have to worry about that the next day. But essentially what this is, you can share it to once again your guild or team up. And what this allows is for people to send you a character to support you. Uh, I'm just going to revoke this because I don't want to use it right now. But when you go into your battle, if you've used the synergy battle uh, and someone has lent you a hero, it requires someone to lend you one. There'll be an extra little tab up the top here that you can go to uh, the synergy heroes and you get to put a sixth hero in with the character that someone has lent you and essentially this is more or less a free victory because you're fighting with six heroes try and get a strong one and you can go ahead and clap through it once again you get to do that once per day so use it wisely but it is definitely 
something that's going to get you through a stuck stage 99% of the time. So that is a fantastic feature. Make use of it. Now, another thing you can do if you're struggling and you feel like you're getting close, but you're not quite there is this is where you can come in and you can forge some equipment. As you'll see, my support ranger and tank are all completely maxed out in their equipment um, as much as I can, just because those three are the ones that I mainly use in my team. I don't use mages, warriors, or rogues, so I haven't really worried about those. But as you can see here, if I wanted to upgrade some of the gear, I could forge it. But once again, because I'm not using these characters uh, in my campaign progression and stuff like that, I haven't bothered forging them. But I have forged my, my tanks, my rangers, and my uh, supports all completely to max because I want to get every stat out of them I can. Because sometimes if you do are missing a couple pieces and you craft these, then it does help you out a bit. Now, something else you can do on that topic of gear is you can go over to the map here and we can go to the uh, the forge and you can come over here and now you can buy some gear here. Now, it does it is quite expensive in gold. So once again, I, I would only do it if you are completely stuck and it is a decent increase in power levels. But we can come over here and we can see what we can purchase. And as you can see, I have bought a few pieces from here to upgrade my main classes that I use. As you can see, this one here I bought was a ranger. This one was a support. This one was a tank. All those main ones that I use all the time are the only ones I'm purchasing. I'm not purchasing these for classes that I don't need, like the warriors, the rogues, and the mages, because I'm not using them. I'm not going to get any benefit out of them. Now, moving on past that, to get yourself extra levels into your characters, something you can always come back to until you run out of all your attempts is the Dream Realm battles and trying to push this because often in the early in the early ones, this is more for early players, you can get a bunch of experience through these in the lower levels. But then as you move on, you're going to get more of the uh, Dream Fragments, which can then buy you extra copies, get dupes of characters, which are helpful. Maybe that can get you. But the big one you're looking at is going to be the weapon chests because if you can get upgraded and you can buy some of these weapon chests that those weapons might get you across the line so really trying to push and peak your damage uh, in these boss fights can actually help you like for instance here if I could get another two I don't know if I can equip these at my level I'm not 100% sure but if I can get those and I can equip them like that is going to give me a really really nice boost to my damage on my damage dealers uh, and could definitely help me out so doing a big push on the dream realm uh, is always an option once again you only get nine like it depends what stage or difficulty you're on but you only get x amount of free attempts but then you do get the 10 purchased attempts which you can add on to that as well and like i said the, the, a, a lot of times when i've been stuck i go in and i push some dream realm and if i can break those limits in dream realm it does help me break the limits uh in campaign and the afk stage pushing Moving on from that, if you are stuck, something else you can do is go over here and do your side quests and your town quests. Now, I just today got up to date on all of my side quests and town quests. Now, they're not going to give you anything crazy. Town quests are actually good because they give you experience and hero essence, which can help you level your characters. I actually did these to get my level 101 Cecilia earlier to help me push through a bunch of stages that I was previously stuck at. So these definitely go back and check these all the time. You can see I unlock more once I hit residence level 1. 116 and then I will keep going on this account for them and just always check back when you enter new zones for side quests. Now side quests are quite tedious and time consuming and all they're going to really give you is some gold and some gems but you know some extra diamonds for summons is always going to go a long way and it's something to do if you are feeling stuck. Moving on past that, the next one is kill all the mobs around the world. Now, this may sound self-explanatory, but if you go back through, you often find some that you miss. Like, if I look around here, you can see this zone, I've missed a bunch because, dude, th this zone, for some reason, these enemies are, are giga hard for me. They've all got these the, the, the apes that throw your unit, and it's just destroying me at the moment. But, uh, so, I, like, I can go around and I can try and beat the ones that I need to beat. One, the, the, the things it's going to do, it's going to give you experience and, and um, resources from defeating the enemies but it's also given to give you currency for the shop so that you can get more stuff out of Keith's shop because you're going to be able to buy extra experience extra gear and extra shards for characters from Keith's shop so killing enemies around the world is definitely something you want to keep on top of and I know a lot of people have like little enemies here and there around the place that they can get a lot of people I've seen get the chests and then leave the additional enemies that they don't have to do but keep in mind they do give you extra currency as well so killing all the mobs around the world is definitely an additional thing that you want to keep on top of now this one is super sweaty the next one is super sweaty and it's for someone that really just wants to keep playing the game but you can go back into different zones because i didn't do it along the way 
but you can actually go around and you, you guys can pick plants now i've i've gone through a bunch uh and picked most of the plants around the joint but if you if you want to sweat super hard and you want something to do and you're desperate for something to do you can come around as you'll see like i i can't find any because i've cleared out most of them i do believe uh but you can walk around and you know when you see plants that you can pick also these little gold lights that that i've missed a few uh that's only gold but some of them do give you like seven to nine dust and stuff like that or hero essence which can be valuable but you can walk around the map and just make sure you've picked up uh every plant that is available to you because then you you can go ahead and you can use those plants to gift your characters into affinity because as you give with infinity affinity 1300 is the place i stop it's going to get you some extra summons once again that is a super sweaty one for the the super sweats out there but uh if you do want something desperately to do you can do it and you can pick the plants and you can get some extra stuff out of it the next one we're going into is the legend trial now the legend trial is a very important thing to push it gives you two it gives you three main things it gives you acorns which you're always going to need it gives you uh summons and it gives you that hero essence hero essence is the major roadblock for everyone you can see here we've just unlocked the wilder day so all, all i did when wilder day unlocked it was i came and i pushed it up to stage 20 to get myself an extra 250 hero essence now what i'll try and do is push it up to 25 because that will get me an extra few summons and then obviously 30 gets me more hero essence so coming back here and trying to push these stages can be very very valuable just keep in mind when you are pushing these stages you've got to get creative uh depending on what characters you have at what ascension as you can see this is my weird setup that i've been using over here um trying to keep iron alive at the start of the battle so that he can do the bulk of the work and just sacrificing Lyca and the cart up the front uh to try and get them out of the way and you know you get some interesting formations but definitely trying to push these stages is going to help you both with summon income but also the hero essence which you get every 10 levels which is incredibly incredibly nice now the next thing we have once again this is more of a super sweat one is the honor jewel if you want to do this basically the two things you want to do is make sure you've gotten these rewards once i feel like these should reset like on the weekly they're not that crazy please reset these weekly um but the other thing is we do currently have an event so if you want to sweat in this to get the event done i've only been doing my three battles and forfeiting them and just collecting essentially on the event uh i've got too much other stuff to do across my two accounts but if you want to come in here and you want to sweat out the event and try for some of the difficult achievements you can always do that in the honor jewel at the moment at the time of uploading this later on who knows where we're at what other events we've got on but always keep the event style of thing in mind as well and that is pretty much everything that i recommend you guys doing if you are stuck in the game and if you do all of that <laughs> If you do all of that and you're still stuck, the final note I wrote down on my notepad, come back tomorrow because you're just bad. <laughs> guys at the end of the day it, these games are made for you to hit walls you're never going to endlessly break the walls eventually you will hit a wall that you can't break and if you keep retrying retrying the thing that's going to get you across the line is the afk loot that comes in while you're retrying to level up a character that then gets you across the board just it is what it is as much as you want to do stuff eventually you will hit a wall you just got to go to bed wake up collect your however many hours of loot i don't know how long you guys sleep i'm about 60 hours collect that loot Hopefully it gives you a couple levels and hopefully you can break through a wall. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.